Hello and assalamu alaikum. This is Afar Ali Khan and we are here with floating point numbers lecture 5. This lecture is about accuracy and size. So a uh, few things that we have to understand. Let's say I've got this floating point number. This is floating point number and here we have got exponent and here we have got mantissa. Now first we have slider. This slider is सही है और हमें ये भी पता है कि मेंटिसा इस टू एक्यूरेसी और प्रेसिशन एंड एक्सपोनेंट इस टू साइज ऑलराइट मेंटिसा इस टू एक्यूरेसी एंड एक्सपोनेंट इस टू साइज अच्छा अब फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट का जो ओवरऑल साइज है दैट इस फिक्स्ड फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट का जो ओवरऑल साइज है दैट इस फिक्स्ड और अगर आप slider go towards right move karenge to you will actually decrease the number of bits in exponent and you will increase the number of bits in mantisa so to understanding it becomes appear it becomes apparent sorry that the accuracy will be increased and the exponent size will be decreased so we will be able to have more accurate number but the range will be shorter Similarly, if I move the slider towards the left, it means that the size of the exponent increase. So we can get a bigger number, but the accuracy might get compromised. So this way we can say the relationship between accuracy and size or mantissa or um, mantissa and exponent is inversely proportional. When you increase uh, mantissa, you decrease exponent. When you, uh, when you increase uh, exponent, you decrease the mantissa. And similarly, uh, when we increase accuracy, we decrease uh, size and when we increase size we decrease basically accuracy so you have to keep that in mind now this is a common question in exam what if we change the size of mantissa and exponent and all so all of those questions consider that the size of the floating point is fixed and if we are making any change to exponent or mantissa the result will be opposite for the other uh, part of it means if we expand exponent we decrease mantissa and if we increase mantissa we decrease exponent all right secondly if you could understand uh, how would you save zero 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 point zero uh, in floating point basically you cannot save it because for having zero point zero you would have all the bits in the mantissa and the exponent all filled with zero and that is basically non-normalized number and you cannot even normalize that zero thing because you will not find the first one uh, in the mantissa so all zero so you cannot actually normalize it so we cannot save zero in uh, floating point numbers similarly you have an idea that uh, there are a lot of accuracy issues as well okay now uh, basically now we are going to discuss uh, four extreme possibilities for the given number of bits in mantissa and given number of bits in exponent and those four possibilities are largest positive number which is possible in a given number of mantissa and exponent is smallest positive number largest negative number and a smallest negative number so let's say we have got a fictitious zero we know that zero cannot be saved and here we have got one two four eight 16 and here we have got minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 8 minus 16 so this is all just for your understanding okay so this is said to be the largest positive number this is said to be the smallest positive number this is said to be the largest negative number this is said to be the smallest negative number okay so there are other terms which are also used for example largest magnitude positive number this is called smallest magnitude positive number this is called smallest magnitude negative number La smallest magnitude negative number is basically the largest negative number and similarly largest magnitude negative number so as you can see we are dealing with what we are dealing with uh, real numbers 
So we might have the largest positive number, which is in points, for example, 16 point something or eight point something or four point something, depends how many bits do we have in Venti sign all. And similarly, the smallest positive number might be a number which is lesser than one closest to zero, lesser than one closest to zero. Similarly, we might have a largest negative number which is greater than one and closest to zero. This is also possible. So let's see how these all works. I've got a chart for Mantisa and exponent for all given values, largest positive, smallest positive, largest negative and smallest negative. And I'll ask you people to basically remember this chart by heart so that you could solve all these questions easily. So in order to have largest positive number, you have to have largest positive mantisa and largest positive exponent. In order to have a smallest positive number, you have to have the smallest positive mantisa and smallest negative exponent because you would have to throw the point to the far end as far as possible on the left to make the actual number smallest. Similarly, in order to have the largest negative number, you have to have largest negative mantisa and smallest negative exponent because you have to have the number largest negative which is basically uh, smallest negative uh, smallest magnitude negative number closest to zero and then smallest negative number should have a smallest negative mantisa and largest positive um, exponent a smallest negative number is basically the largest magnitude number now let's say we are solving this for eight bits let's make it six bits six bits 6 bits mantisa and 3 bits exponent all right 6 bits mantisa and 3 bits exponent so what would be the largest positive number in mantisa for 6 bits that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and over here we have got 3 bits 1 2 3 all right so this is what we have for 6 bits and 3 bits now a smallest positive number smallest positive number will be 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the smallest negative number which is basically 1 2 3 largest negative number is basically 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the smallest negative would be this similarly over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 you can see over here that you might say that smallest positive would be a bit one here and this should be zero but in that case you know that it would not be normalized so we have to have this 0 0.1 as smallest positive and similarly in largest negative you would like to have the smallest smallest uh, uh, number but for that you will be requiring one over here and that one over here will make the whole thing non-normalized so it will not be saved so i would say that these two these two are roughly normalized these two are roughly normalized but that doesn't make any difference because the whole system works that way okay so now let's solve it largest positive number largest positive number in six bits mantisa and three bits exponent so you can see one two three four five six and one two three so this will become zero point one two three four five six into two to keep power three so this will go three times towards the right so this will become one 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 point one one so this is basically plus 7.25 all right so a smallest positive number a smallest positive number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 so this is 0 0.1 into 2 to power minus 4 remember this is basically two's complement so 1 2 minus 4 is the worth so this means that it is 0 0.1234 4 times 0 and 1 since the point would have moved left side four times so this is basically uh, 2 key power minus 5 and which is 0 0.03125 this is the smallest positive number now the most important thing that you have to remember is that instead of 0 in a floating point notation the smallest positive number is saved so this is basically saved as 0 
all right so whenever you will save a zero in a floating point number which is a real number you are actually saving the smallest positive number as zero okay so now a largest negative number largest negative number is one two three four five six and one two three so now you can see that this is basically a negative number which is normalized so now we will first convert it to the positive number so we will keep the exponent same to the first one we will keep it same and then we will convert it to the positive form and then to the standard form one zero point one zero 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 one into 2 to power minus 4 uh, largest negative number so now the largest negative is 1 0 1 1 1 1 and 1 double 0 so for that we have written 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 double 0 now we will basically first because negative number so let's first convert it to to the positive form so we will keep the exponent same from the right in the mantissa to the first one we keep it same and toggle the rest so this will give us a positive number positive number go up standard formula 0 0.1 as the point lies between first two bits and into 2 to power minus 4 so this will become 0 0.12341001 or uh, in a way it has become 2 to power minus 5 6 7 8 plus 2 to power minus 9 but this number will be negative since the calculator is not allowed so leaving uh, a answer up till here is good but i would suggest that if the decimal part is up to 2 to power minus 6 try solving it and if it is bigger than that you can leave it here now smallest negative for 8 bits mantisa and 3 bits exponent so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 0 1 1 so this since you cannot convert this mantisa to positive form we will consider it as minus 1 as it is minus 1 and 2 to power 3 so this has become minus 2 to power 3 which has become minus 8 so this is the smallest negative number that you can come up with in 8 bits mantisa and 3 bits exponent now one thing that is very important to understand if the number of bits for mantisa grow you will take whatever the right most, most bit is and you will fill that in and similarly same is for uh, the exponent if the number of bits grow whatever the rightmost bit that you find uh, in exponent side take it and fill it further so if you have the number of bits number of bits come hoja and let's say che ke bajay char hoja to aap right se ye bits katna shuru karenge and similarly in exponent agar aapke paas number of bits kam hote hain so jo is chart mein jitne bhi numbers hain agar aap dekhe to jo rightmost bit hai wahi bit copy hoga aur agar aapke paas jagah kam hai to wahi bit kam hoga so ab aapke paas jo sabse ab hum isko let's say 4 bits mantisa aur 4 bits exponent ke liye karte hain to dekhen kitna phenomenal difference aayega अब देखिए कि हम 4 bits mantisa और 4 bits exponent कर रहे हैं आपके पास ऊपर 6 bits mantisa है 3 bits exponent था अब हमने क्या किया mantisa को 4 bits करके accuracy कुछ कम कर दी लेकिन हमने expand किसको किया है uh, exponent को तो size हमारा देखिएगा ऊपर नीचा values compare करते रहिएगा आपको खुद ही अंदाजा हो जाएगा so largest positive in 4 bits mantisa 1 2 3 4 and 4 bits exponent 1 2 3 4 आपने देखिए मैंने rightmost bit को ही कम किया और exponent में rightmost bit को ही बढ़ाया so this will become 0 0.111 into 2 to power 7 so this is basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so अब you can see अब हमारे पास जो है आप figure देखिए 1 2 4 8 16 plus 32 plus 64 हमारे पास जो value बन रही है वो बन रही है plus 112.0 अब देखिए हमारा सर एक बिट चेंज हुआ है एक्सपोनेंट में और हमारे पास अर्लियर इट वाज 7.25 एंड नाउ इट हैज बिकम व्हाट 112 देयर इज अ फिनोमेनल डिफरेंस फॉर एवरी सिंगल बिट दैट इंक्रीजेस इन एक्सपोनेंट एक्चुअली द साइज ग्रोस ओके ऑल राइट नाउ इज स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव नंबर स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव नंबर सिंस द नंबर ऑफ बिट्स हैज चेंज्ड इन एक्सपोनेंट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट 1 2 3 4 and here 1 2 3 4 so this has become 0 0.1 into 2 to power minus 8 earlier it was minus 4 now it is now minus 8 so the answer is uh, 2 to power minus 9 that's your answer since we cannot solve it without calculator it is fine to leave it here but certainly it is much less than 0 0.03125 now largest negative number largest negative number is 1 2 3 4 one two three four so this is basically a negative number so we will first convert it to positive and then 0 0.101 into 2 to power minus 8 so this has become 2 to power minus 9 plus 2 to power minus 11 negative number then a smallest negative number the smallest negative number sorry ha, yes the smallest negative number so one two three four one two three four so this has become minus 1 into 2 to power 7 this has become minus 2 to power 7 
और टू टू पावर सेवन इज माइनस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो ओके सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द चेंज इन नंबर्स आफ्टर द चेंज इन एक्सपोनेंट नाउ द number with more bits in mantis sign more bits in exponent i have seen up till 11 bits and 12 bits uh, you need to understand that calculators are not allowed so how we will deal with it let's see let's say i have got 8 bits mantis sign 8 bits exponent so largest positive number with 8 bit mantis and 8 bits exponent so let's see how do we solve it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so whenever you have got more than five ones in mantisa on the left consider it as one because calculator is not there and having perfection would not be possible so we will consider it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 into 2 to power 127 this is basically now we are considering it as one so 1 into 2 to power 127 so answer is plus 2 to power 127 that is your answer for largest positive number in 8 bits mantisa and 8 bits exponent so now smallest positive number obviously we have got large 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 exponent it means that the number will be very small and closest to zero so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so this is 0.1 into 2 to power minus 128 or it is 2 to power minus 129 so that is your smallest positive number now let's make largest negative number 12123456789123456789 so this is basically a negative number so we will will have to first convert it to the positive and then we will solve it 12345678 to the first one from the right we have 1 and then we will convert 2 3 4 5 6 1 0 This is basically the number. So now zero point one double zero double zero zero one into two to power minus one twenty eight. So this has become two to power minus one twenty nine, one twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five plus two to power minus one thirty five. The whole thing is negative. So this is the largest negative number, which is basically the smallest in magnitude. Now, the smallest negative number. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. So this is minus one into two to power one twenty seven, and ultimately this is minus two to power one twenty seven. This is the smallest negative number which is possible in eight bits mantis and eight eight bits exponent. Now you have to understand one thing, so that this that this should be remembered thoroughly. This should be practiced thoroughly. There is always a question about this particular part. This might be seen. This might be seen as the complicated one. but you have to practice it